Ooh, welcome back you guys, my name is Game Warrior, today's game we're going to be playing, it's called Crash of Illusions, starring Mickey Mouse, and I don't know what this game is, I just recently got it, I do know that there is a Castle of Illusions, or Illusions video game series, I don't know if there's a Castle of Illusions video game series, or there's just an Illusion series, but I am playing the PS3 version of the Genesis, Sega Genesis version of of the game and everything I'm gonna play the PS3 version of the Genesis game so I don't know if there's anything that's changed or and all that so if there is then cool I guess I don't I wouldn't notice so I do know that this game is like Sonic the Hedgehog almost to where there's like three acts and like on the third act the boss is there and everything but I do also know that this is a Instead of it being a 2D game, it's a 2.5D to where stuff in the background can be manipulated and everything, so that's kind of cool, but let me just enter. Once upon a time, two devoted sweethearts set out on a summer afternoon to enjoy the sunshine, the warm breeze, and the pleasure of each other's company. Mickey and Minnie were so happy that they were certain everyone must feel the same. <laughs> But alas, joy is not found in all hearts. Where there should be love and kindness, there is jealousy and anger. The witch, Miserable, had such a heart. One filled with darkness and envy. Oh dear! Aw, it's okay, Minnie. I bet the sun will be back in a jiffy. Mickey's wish was not to be. The day turned to night and the skies thundered with ill will and fury. Yikes! In the brief moment that Mickey closed his eyes against the bright flash of lightning, his happiness was shattered. Huh, Minnie! The evil witch Miserable had kidnapped Minnie. The old crone had always been jealous of the mouse's beauty. Now, she would rob her of it. <laughs> What you have until it's gone, isn't that right? No, no, you get her back! <laughs> As Miserable took to the skies with his beloved Minnie, Mickey knew he had to act fast. Oh, Mickey, save me! Running with all his might, he chased the witch through the forest. <laughs> Mickey scampered and scurried all the way to... The Castle of Illusion. Ominous and terrifying, the castle stood out against the skyline like a shadow from a horrible nightmare. Lost and alone, what was Mickey to do? Luckily, fate intervened in the guise of a mysterious old mouse. Caution, lad, for Miserable's plans are truly wicked. Using a magic spell, she intends to steal Minnie's youth and beauty. Your sweetheart will be left as hideous as the witch is now, and her heart will contain only hatred and anger. Oh no! Uh, how can I save her? What do I do? You must find the seven rainbow gems that will create the fabled Rainbow Bridge. It will take you to where Minnie is being held. But beware the Gem Keepers. They are Miserable's prime ministers of misery and won't give up their treasures easily. Gems? Gem Keepers? Got it! Wait, where do I find them? Within Miserable's Castle of Illusion. But beware, young mouse. The witch has created strange worlds and bizarre creatures to prevent you from reaching her. Each gem is guarded by one of Miserable's masters of illusion. Defeat them to claim your prize. And remember, use great caution. Mickey did not take the old mouse's words lightly. He thanked him and rushed to the castle gates. So basically, it's like Sonic in how he has to get the Chaos Emeralds to go and defeat Eggman so then he can be Super the Sonic. The Castle of Illusion was Miserable's twisted playground of trickery and peril. 
Nothing there was as it seemed. So basically, it it is like Sonic to where you have the Chaos Emeralds, you have the other stuff that you need to collect and everything, so... Of course, of course, so that's gonna make a lot of sense and everything, that makes tons of sense. This did... this was on the Genesis, I don't know if it was on Sega, but I... No, I don't know if it was on NES or and everything on Nintendo, but I do know that it was on the Sega Genesis. Into so, the castle yeah. entryway strode the mouse with the heart of a great lion, though his knees felt more like those of a frightened kitten. Um, why did I need to pan around the, um, castle? I really don't know, but apparently panning around the castle is something that I needed. E yuck, yeah. Okay, any, any secrets? Because usually there are secrets in these games, and I always want to make sure that if I'm going to find a secret that I find it, but apparently no secrets there. So, okay, so, yeah, it's set up like Sonic, of course. Yes, we get it. You're curious about what's behind this door, so you have to go through each world three acts, so then you can get the seven gems of light and everything. Not the seven chaos emeralds, just the seven um, gems of light, of course. So. Mickey crossed the threshold and emerged once again into the forest, but it was changed somehow. This wasn't the pastoral wood he remembered. Uh. Okay, so apparently just jumping on their heads is something that will help and I didn't uh, mean it fall before collecting that. So am I at all? Okay, so they respawn if you're able to jump on them. Or they just respawn. I'm not really sure if what happened, but I do know that there is an attack and everything, but I don't know what the attack is quite yet. It, I hope it tells you because... That would be fantastic, knowing the attack, what, what I'm... Okay, so if I... So basically, you're the guy that I'm probably gonna have to fight at the... As the third boss, I'm guessing. Okay, so apples are gonna be my thing that I need to throw. Great, so that's something that I need to remember. So apples are things that are throwable. And is that the only attack other than bouncing on the enemies that are the attack or something? Because if so, then that makes complete sense because Mickey does only have the jump ability, only can jump uh, and everything. And if he has any other abilities, then that would just be really weird. Oh, is that? Oh, wait. Nope. Don't know why I'm going backwards, but... But collecting the gems, I'm guessing, actually does help because of it being gems actually do your progression and everything. So they're your like main collectible that are in the game, I'm guessing, that, that you need to watch and collect and everything. I'm not really sure on what to do, but that's what it seems the like. The so. was created by Miserable, so of course, it had a mischievous streak. Sure wish that sign pulse would make up its mind. <laughs> Suddenly, Mickey was in another part of the wood. Were these gigantic trees, or had Mickey been shrunk? He definitely got shrunk, or they're probably gigantic, I'm not really sure. Okay, don't, don't, don't fall, don't fall. I'm trying not to fall, but for some reason did. Okay, so, I have to be very, very cautious and careful. Okay, be careful, Mickey. Do not fall. Because if you fall, then that's not going to be good. Okay, so having the apples right there actually helped. Okay, good. Don't hit me, spider. You creepy looking spiders, do not hit me. Okay, so more stuff here. Oh, good lord, do not want to fall with the leaves, because if I fall with the leaves, then that's not going to be good, and... Okay, can, so apparently I can jump through the leaves like any platformer can, so that's something. 
Okay, that's not chance it. And okay, you just get hit because I need. So apparently can't jump on those guys. Or I can. Not realizing what I can and can't do, apparently. Okay, just make it. I don't know what I'm here for. I don't know what I'm collecting. Mickey found himself back in the clearing and back to his original size. I'm going to do that again just because I really want to do that again. I just really want to do that again because I really don't know what's on the other side of this. So I really just want to make sure that if there's anything special or like any like big collectible that I'm collecting it because if it's a big collectible then I would like to collect it because okay seriously so it's gonna take some precision platforming to do this okay I can do it not gonna be fun but I know I can do it okay let's just keep going Let's just keep going. Apparently, I'm making it. I don't know how I am. But apparently, I'm sort of making it. So the moment that I am not paying that close of attention or I'm trying to go for every collectible, it's just not going to allow me to. Okay, apparently. And uh, I know I can do this. It's just going to be very tricky to do it. I know it's going to be hard. And I know that I keep going and doing this one simple part but I want to see what's behind this area because there wouldn't be just an area to where you can platform if there wasn't an explanation behind it so I'm really really curious on what this place has to offer and everything because this seems like it's supposed to go somewhere but I'm not really sure on where so it's a good thing if I'm just going and doing what I need to do here but for right now I'm just gonna get that and then just keep jumping up because I do know that I can just keep doing what I'm doing right there and then jump okay go don't fall Mickey again don't fall again because I know you can fall again because that's what you've been doing I just want you to stay as comfortable in this tree as possible because the more you're bouncing and up in this tree the better I don't know how that's gonna be better but it's gonna be better okay and Wait, now this is where I fell, so I'm going to have to be so very careful. Good lord, do not fall. Okay, so right here I have... Oh, good lord. <laughs> Almost fell again in the same exact area. I just... Okay, so I got a playing with a card. With a flash, Mickey reappeared in the clearing with the playing card. And much to his relief... He was back to his own size, too. Which way should I go? Okay, so I apparently got a playing card. I don't know what the playing card is for, but apparently I got a playing card. Um, what's this? Is it gonna tell me, or am I gonna have to figure it out on my own? Apparently so, I will have to figure that out on my own. Okay, so... You get destroyed because you need two flowers. So apparently that was only just to get a playing card. Uh, of course it is. Uh, of course it was. But at least I did it, so... I don't know what the playing cards do, but apparently in platformers, you want... You would want to collect everything. Because you never know if what you're going to collect is important or not. So it's just a good thing to collect everything that you can okay so I will have okay first off now that I'm down here even though I don't have a choice to be down here because I fell so that's just okay good so I collected that don't know exactly what for okay so I can enter that door and just do what I need to there okay so so apparently Crash Bandicoot wasn't the first one who could who thought of this. Crash wasn't the first one who thought of something like this, so apparently Mickey now has to do this. So is this so are they just taking what the most popular ideas from the most popular platformers would be and just doing the ideas of those games because this is Crash Bandicoot for sure. This is surely Crash Bandicoot and everything because I know for sure this is Crash Bandicoot 
I have to be so very careful because there could be a bit. Okay. That was close. I don't know how I got that checkpoint. I really don't know how I got that checkpoint, but I'm glad that I did. I'm glad that I got a checkpoint. <laughs> I'm really, really glad that I did. Okay, so I do get a score thing like in Sonic. And yes, I'm gonna reference Sonic because this was a Genesis game and it does feel like Sonic as well, so. Mickey knew he was closer to Miserable now. The very air around him tingled with mischief and danger. No, duh. Okay, so there's ghosts and everything that looked like they were from Mickey's um, older cartoons and everything. Interesting. Uh, this was when the um, on the Genesis, so I, that does make sense on why it looks and feels so like it does and everything. Okay, can we jump, Mickey? Thank you. Good lord. I get that the platforming has been updated and perfected in this game, but si still, there's certain areas where it's not going to be perfect. And, and yeah, I should have noticed that. And you just need to get killed because for some reason you get hurt me and I don't know why. I know I landed in front of it, but... I don't know what these castle, castle statue pieces are, but I'm collecting a bunch of them. I, I don't know what they do or what they are, but... I'm, I'm glad that I'm at least collecting some. Okay, so I have a duck um, throw button. So I can duck and throw if I... Okay, so I will need to have... To, okay, so I will have to... Yeah. So, not going to be able to go up there because of reasons of what I just know of the reasons of. So I have to be very careful... Okay, am I able to bounce on you? Yes. Okay, so the red ones are the ones I can't bounce on, but the other, but the green ones I'm able to. So that makes sense. Complete makes complete sense on which ones I can and cannot jump on. Oh wait, there are gems over here. Oh, seriously. Thank you. Okay, you get destroyed. You get destroyed. And let's just keep doing what I need to do, apparently, because uh, this is what I need to do. So, okay, so I have to be very careful on stepping on the red ones. So, if the red ones, the red ones may or may not pull away if that's what's going to happen. So, I do have to be very careful on if I do this. By doing this, I have to be very careful. I'm not really sure if the red ones do pull away. I'm just guessing on that fact. Okay, now jump up. To okay, why? I was holding the X button and for some reason it wasn't going. Okay, anything special up here? Apparently so. Please don't say I, I did this over. Okay. Okay, so I have to be careful. Step on this blue one. Green. 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 That's not good. The evil Ms. witch it taunted Mickey with her cruel laugh. But perhaps she was secretly worried about how close he was getting. No, duh. We know Mickey's gonna do it because Mickey never dies in these games. Mickey, Mi there are a few characters in Disney that will never die. Like Mickey, Minnie, Goofy, Donald, Daisy. Those characters, we I definitely know those characters aren't gonna like die. Because in any game, they're probably under contract to go and have those characters never die, even no matter where they're shown and everything. They can be shown getting captured and everything and getting hurt and everything, but they can't be shown, like, actually physically dying. So, that, that, because we know, because I do know that in Kingdom Hearts, um, Goofy does get hurt and everything and does fake out the audience who's playing the game fakes out the player and fake and that's it so shows it that he gets hurt and almost dies and everything and it looks like he's down for the count and he's dead but then really you just know that that basically he was he was just knocked out because he got hit in the head it wasn't because of any other reason it was just because he got knocked out and everything so if it's a disney character that is mickey donald 
Mickey, Donald, Minnie, Goofy, Daisy, or Donald, the six characters, those six characters probably never are able to die or anything because that would just be very tragic if one died in a video game. They can get hurt, they can get hurt and everything, but they, they can't die. They can lose all their hit points in a game and then faint, the but they can't really and die. With the of the forest behind him, Mickey faced the next part of his quest. Ah, the grumpy old oak tree. Like all of Miserable's illusions, <laughs> he was no friend to Mickey. <laughs> okay, so I was right about who the boss is for the area, so, okay. So, he's gonna do the role that we saw in I was actually paying attention to what he was doing, so it's a good thing that I was, because I do know what he does. Okay, now jump over. Now jump back over. Okay, don't want to get hit by those, so I have to be very careful here. Okay, what are you going to do? Okay, so you're going to do a bouncing attack, a bounce attack, and then roll, I guess. Okay, so can't stand there. Jump on you. Okay, now what are you going to do? Okay, bounce some more. That's something that I could see from a mile away. Okay, now wait for the giant acorn to do what they need to do, and then now that's... Okay, so apparently he did his activity, and now... Um, okay, so the I got the red gem. The gem was finally his. Now it was time for our hero to move on. So now I got the red gem, and now I'm able to get the other gems that I can get in this, and all that. Now, now I can go to the next area and do what I need to do there, but Exploring yeah. Exploring the castle halls, Mickey now had one of the rainbow gems that would help him save Minnie. But he knew there were more to find, and the Masters of Illusion would not give them up without a fight. So it, so when I collect the statues and everything, do they go and just start collecting them where the statues are supposed to go or something? Because that's interestingly cool. Okay, so they're just paintings and clip and art from the game and everything. So okay, makes sense. Makes sense on what what's here and what I need to do and what you can and cannot see, of course. So. I like how they do like the art and everything like instead of doing like an art room they make it a part of the castle itself that's really really cool I, I, I am enjoying every part of this game I am thoroughly enjoying every part of this game and all that okay so there's gonna be more statues here so that's gonna be something so I am able to go in there but I'm not gonna go in there right now just because I just don't want to so I need 160 to go in enter there and what's over here uh, apparently apparently something is over here and I don't know what it is but apparently I'm able to go here and apparently there's more gems here some clear gems the rainbow bridge to Minnie would only appear when all seven rainbow gems were collected there was still work to be done so this is the area where I need to go to when I get all the rainbow gems. I have one of seven rainbow gems. I need six more. And then I'm able to turn into Super Mickey. Okay, so I'm not going to be able to do that. I am just able to go and... Yeah, I need to jump down from a great height and everything, so... Okay. So, let's just enter this area. Okay, so act one of this next area. Oh, it looks like I'm going into a, a toy factory or a toy store or a toy something. But, I, all I do need to do is collect six more and then I can get the rainbow bridge and everything. Mickey emerged into a toy box of peril. Another of the witch's illusions. Um, okay, so that can be done. Did not realize that that could be done. Okay. Oh, so I do need to climb up. Okay, makes sense on why I was able to do go this way. Okay, you need to not hurt me. 
Okay, can we at least do some platforming correct some correct platforming? Okay, let's just get this over with. Don't fall, Mickey, because Okay, so I can still hurt the dark in the boxes and everything. But I am not going to right now. Um can you Yes, that's what I was trying to do. Okay, get all the gems. Oh, so each area has their own throwable thing that I can do. Makes perfect sense because that that does help in the long run. Like, in the first area, you get apples because you're in the forest. In this area, you get marbles. And that that's very clever. That's a clever idea of how to make a throwable object fit the environment of where you are. That's really cool. Okay, first off, I need to destroy both of you. For no other reason, but you are evil and I need to... Okay, am I... What, where am I? He had to move quickly and carefully, for the cards weren't playing fairly. So, basically, more Crash Bandicoot. Apparently, I have to do more Crash Bandicoot here. Okay, just go do Crash Bandicoot. Jump. Jump. Crash Bandicoot your way. Crash Bandicoot your way to the entrance. Okay, so it just goes. Mickey had gotten so close. He was certain he'd do better next time. Yes, I am. Oh, so I can only. So it's gonna be an auto runner. Okay. Auto runner forward. Apparently, so that makes sense on. Okay, so I have to be so very careful here. I get what I need to do, just gonna take a while to do, because I'm not really... Well, I'm not good at one of these... I'm not good at these puzzle things, to where... I'm good with platforming, but with auto runners, it takes me a while to do, so this is gonna take me a while, but at least I can at least give this a good try. At least. Okay, so I collected a statue this time, and not wow. a card. Mickey knew how it felt to be a rabbit in a magic act. Okay, so I'm out of marbles, so that's a thing. Okay, now let's go do this. Come on, jump. Okay, let's just try to not mess this up, because I can mess this up if I'm not careful. Okay, so I got what I needed over there. Okay, so jump, just keep jumping. Okay, jump, 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 jump. Let's just keep going. Keep, keep, keep going. Okay, wait for, for it to come back because apparently I do. Okay, now that I am able to. Okay, seriously, why? Not exactly what I was trying to do. Okay, can we reappear? Thank you. Okay, good. Let's get the extra hit point because that... Ac hey, I didn't realize those are ac actually lives. So I have 10 lives to do this. So that makes actual really cool sense. So now I have 10 lives to actually do this. So, so there's a scooter now that I have to worry about. Okay, can you reappear? Thank you. Just need the extra hit point because I do not want to die in this area. And it's very possible for me to die because <laughs> I'm not that good with this. Um, why? Why is it not allowing me to jump on it? Like, I'm pressing the button that I need to press. Thank you. Third time's the charm, apparently. Okay, so... Really, really, that's not exactly what I want. But at least I know that I can do this. Okay, wait. Now. Really? This is not exactly what I want, but I know I can. Come on, Mickey, come on, come on. Mickey? Mickey to mouse, I know you can do this. Am I not allowed? Am I not able to do that or something? Am I not able to do that or something? 
Please don't say I have to start this over again. Okay, good. So I got uh, a checkpoint, so that's a good thing. That's a good thing that I did get a checkpoint. Am I able to collect what I collected over here before, or no? I hope I am, but I'm not going to be guaranteed. Okay, so yeah, I can collect the extra life and everything. So all the collectibles from the checkpoint and onward are did not save, so makes sense. So, so all the stuff from I collected after getting the checkpoint did not save, so makes perfect sense. Uh, apparently I wasn't supposed to do that. Apparently I wasn't supposed to jump on the Jack Box's head. Apparently now I am. Okay, seriously, so now I have to do that again? At least I know what I'm doing now, and that actually does help in the long run, so that means that... Okay, seriously, so it's gonna shake me off or something, or what? What? Okay, that's... Try to do this without falling or dying or falling to my death again. Okay, good. So I collected more gems and everything. Okay, good. At least I'm getting further in the area where I need to go, so that makes tons of sense. Okay. I want to go to the other area right now. Okay. Oh, wait. I should just try this first because it makes more sense okay so something's gonna propel that yellow one yellow sailboat up and allow me to go up and everything okay so I get it so now I just have so now it's a basically timed I'm guessing nope apparently I'm just now able to do it Apparently now I'm just able to just come up here and grab what I need to grab. Uh, of course. Uh, of course I can. Yes, need you to get destroyed. Ah, I do not want to fall down. Because if I do fall down then that's not going to be good. You get hit. You get hit. You get hit. You get hit. Now I'm out of marble, so... That means that I am technically out of hits that I can take. But before going to the left, I need to go to the right to get this gem because the more... Oh! Right. Apparently now I have the key and now I'm able to go back down, I guess? <laughs> so now I'm just gonna run all the way back down and everything. So this is apparently what I need to do to come down, I guess. Apparently, now it's turned into this. It's cool and everything that the level shape-shifted into what it, what I do know now of what the level is. That is cool, so now that I have the key, it shape-shifted the level. That's really, really interestingly cool. And now I, now I have 74 gems. I now can enter the other area if I want to. If I want to, but I'm not going to do that quite yet. I'm going to go through all the levels because apparently I do have to. It just depends on which one I want to do first. But I want to... Oh, new art apparently is open. New art. I don't know where the art would be, but new art has entered. So, okay, so just paintings and everything. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to now be able to go over to here. Um, apparently it wasn't exactly thinking that I would be collecting all the ge all the gems, so apparently now... So is this just respawn? So am I able to just come back to this area and just get unlimited lives? Enter a level, exit a level, get an extra life, enter a level, exit a level, get an extra life, and just keep doing that over and over and over or something? Because it seems like that's what's happening, but I don't know, I don't know, but... I'm going to leave this episode here. I'm not sure if I'm going to do this for you guys. If you guys want this, then I will continue this. This is an amazing platforming game. And it really does feel like Sonic and everything. I don't know when this came out. But I do know that 
it does feel like Sonic when I'm playing this. It feels like more of a 3... 2.5D Sonic to where I'm able to go in the background and have some elements to where it's more 3D like the area of the castle and everything that's really cool and everything but this I love how the music sounds I like how the throwing objects that you need to throw are the theme with the level and all that so if you're in the toy area you're throwing marbles if you're in the forest you're throwing apples that's really cool this game is just really cool and may become one of my favorite games I'm not really sure but it might, might just be one of my favorite games but anyway I'm just gonna leave this episode here if you want another episode just tell me and I will do another episode or whatever somehow let me know you guys want another episode and i will do another episode but this this is a really fun game and i can't wait for the next episode if i do another episode but anyway i'm just gonna leave this episode here and i'm just gonna go see you if you like this video hit that like button if you want more videos by me give a boy subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next Woo